Hey everyone, I'm Instructor Brooks. I want to thank you for supporting my channel. Make sure you hit subscribe to join our community. Today we're going to discuss everything you need to know about the heel off phase of gait. And then you get that test question. So if you're ready to learn something, let's go. every phase of the gait cycle, you should consider three joints. Ankle, knee, and hip. That doesn't mean that there's a muscle contraction occurring at every joint, but it's a great way to make sure you don't forget one. One of the biggest things that most students forget is they think about the ankle and the foot when they're thinking about the gait cycle, and as they go through it, they do everything right for the ankle, but they forget either the knee or the hip. So if you always say, I'm gonna look at the ankle, the knee, and the hip, you're always gonna be hitting all the joints that you need to hit at the bare minimum. The fourth phase of the gait cycle is heel off. Let's take a closer look and apply our strategy of ankle, knee, hip. First, looking at the ankle, there's a concentric contraction of the gastrocnemius and soleus to begin to plant or flex the foot for a powerful toe off. Moving on up to the knee, we see it should be slightly flexed due to the plantar flexors contracting. Most literature will not give the hamstrings credit for this, so we will not do that either. Finally, at the hip, we will all agree that the hip flexors are working. There is debate on which type of contraction. I would say at the early phase of heel off, they are contracting eccentrically to slow the hip down as it continues to extend from the momentum generated by the glute max during mid stance and foot flat. However, by the end of heel off, the hip flexors must convert to a concentric contraction. Now for your test question. During heel off, which muscles are responsible for generating knee flexion? A, the hamstrings, B, the gastrocnemius, C, adductor magnus, or D, the quads? The answer is the B, gastrocnemius. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't hesitate to post questions in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram at Instructor Brooks. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of our community. If you got all that covered, have an awesome day. And remember, knowledge is power.